Here we have a couple of problems that have to do with probability. And probability is just a word for the likelihood of something happening. How probable is it? There are a couple of terms you need to know for these problems. And, and one is experimental probability and the other is theoretical probability. So let's just talk about that a little bit. If we're looking at a die, it's got six sides. And when you roll it, if the die is made right, there's an equal chance for each side to come up each time. It's a one out of six chance. Uh, it could come up with a one, a two, three, four, or five, or a six. For any one of those numbers to come up, the chances are one in six. That is theoretical probability. It's theoretical because we're coming up with it just by looking at the die and using our reason logic and thinking about it. Experimental probability would mean actually rolling this die over and over again and keeping track of how many times it comes up. It probably wouldn't be exactly one in six for any particular number, but the more you rolled the die, the closer it would get to that. Let's look at this problem here. It says, a six-sided die is rolled 180 times. The number four comes up 31 times. What is the theoretical probability of rolling a four, and what is the experimental probability of rolling a four? Well, we've already said the theoretical probability of rolling any single number, like a four, on a six-sided die is going to be one in six. So that's the answer for the first part. It's, it's one in six. It's always one in six for a six-sided die, unless somebody's loaded the die. The experimental probability we can get just from looking at the results that came up. It's not exactly one in six. What it says here is the four came up 31 times out of 180. Now, if you were to divide 31 by 180, you'd find it's really close to 1 in 6, but not exactly. We call this the experimental probability, what actually came up, and this the theoretical probability. Let's look at one more here. This one says, a six-sided die is rolled 330 times. The number 2 comes up 58 times. What's the theoretical probability of rolling a 2, and what's the experimental probability? Well, the theoretical probability of rolling a 2 is still 1 in 6. The die hasn't changed. So that's the first part. The second part, uh, we just look at how many times a 2 came up out of the total number of times it was thrown. So 58 out of 330. And then, if you can, you should try to reduce that fraction. I didn't reduce 31 out of 180 because I don't think you can. Let's see, if we, we can definitely take a 2 out of both of these. We would get 29 on the top and what, 165 on the bottom? And I don't think you can reduce that any further. So our, theor our theoretical probability is 1 in 6, our experimental probability is 29 in 165.